When used as intended, Touched DRO will help you make fewer mistakes. Let's learn how to use basic Touch DRO functionality by machining this simple part. Note that all dimensions in this drawing are defined in reference to this point. This is our datum, also called origin. Touch DRO doesn't automatically know where the datum is in relation to the cutter, so we will need to tell it. Let's go to the lathe and see how we do this. We will need to clean up the saw cut and turn the outside diameter down. This will give us a chance to indicate the part. Let's start with the Z-axis. Let's touch off the cutter and dial in a few thousandths. We are about to machine this face, which is exactly one inch from the origin. So let's set the Z-axis and touch the arrow to one inch. Switch to the absolute coordinate system and tap the Z readout. In the dialog, enter 1 and tap Set Dimension. Now we make the cut. Touch DRO now knows where this surface is. Next, we will take care of the X axis. Let's touch off the OD of the part and make a shallow turning cut. We will go a quarter of an inch past zero to make space for a parting cut. Without retracting the cross slide, stop the spindle and measure the outside diameter. We got 1.1227. Let's set the X axis in touch DRO to this diameter. Make sure the diameter mode is turned on and tap the X axis readout. Enter 1.1227. Tap set dimension to close the dialog. We have established the origin. Let's recap how we did this. First, we made the facing cut and set Z dimension to one inch, which told touch DRO that the zero is one inch to the left. When we entered the diameter, we provided the location of the center line. Those two pieces of information allowed touch DRO to set the origin. The DRO will now show the correct position for this cutter, so we can start turning our part. For the drawing, the outside diameter is 1 inch and 24 thousandths. We are at 1.1227, so we need to remove a bit under 100 thousandths, which brings us to the concept of working to zero. This idea is the basis of Touch DRO design philosophy. It's very simple though. We set zero at our desired dimension and then machine towards it. Let's see how this works. First, we need to switch to the incremental coordinate system. Long press the absolute slash incremental button to clear any current offsets. Tap the X readout to bring up the set dimension dialog. Enter minus minus 1.024. Minus minus is a shorthand for subtract from the current position. And we got 0.0987. For the z-axis, we want to machine about a quarter of an inch past zero, so let's enter plus plus 0.25. We are now set to turn the outside diameter to size. Let's move the cross slide to 50 thousandths and make the first cut. Stop and retract the cutter when z gets to zero. On the second cut, split the difference. Our x reads two ten thousandths under 25 thousandths so the diameter should be 2 tenths short of 1 inch and 49 thousandths. Let's do a quick sanity check just in case. Looks like we are 4 ten thousandths over, which is okay. Let's move the cross slide to zero and make the last cut. Okay, let's check the final dimension. We are 1 and a half ten thousandths under. For this part, this is more than good enough. Now we need to machine this step and the groove. We can use the same approach that we used to turn the diameter, but it's better to pre-program the coordinates into the subdatum memory. We will need to enter this point and these two. Let's see how this is done. There are some old subdatums in this workspace, so let's delete them. We can do it by tapping this button. Double tap the plus button. This will open the custom subdatum dialog. We can leave the name as is. 
For the x coordinate, enter 3 divided by 4. Note that we are already in diameter mode, so no need to divide this in half. For z, enter point 625. Long press the Save Subdatum button. This will save the current coordinate and clear the form for the next one. For the second coordinate, enter 7 divided by 8 for the x axis and 0.25 for z. Long press the Save button again. For the last point, x will be 7 divided by 8. For z, enter 0.25 plus 0.25. This time, tap the Save button. Now we can go back to the lathe, select the first point, and machine the step. But first, let's turn on the near zero alarm for the Z axis. Tap the axis label button, and then this button. The DRO will give us an audible warning as we approach zero, so we don't need to watch the screen while the machine is running. And now we can remove the material like we did before. If we stop when the alarm switches to a solid tone, we'll have five thousandths left for a final facing cut. This is the last turning cut. Now we can clean up the face and take a spring pass. We are done with this step. So let's cut this groove next. To cut the groove, we need to switch to a different cutter. The cutting edge is in a different spot, so we will lose our origin, but it's very easy to re-establish it. Using a feeler gauge, touch off the face of the part. In Touch DRO, deselect the subdatum and switch to the absolute coordinate system. Tap the Z readout and enter 1.005. The extra five thousandths is for the thickness of the feeler gauge. Tap Set Dimension. For the x-axis, let's blue up the part with a marker and carefully touch the surface until we take a whisker-thin shaving, like this. Tap the x readout and type 1.024. Select second subdatum from the list and move the z-axis to zero. Now we make the cut, but let's leave a few thousands for the cleanup pass. For the other side, select the last subdatum but we need to account for the width of the blade. We can use the tool offset function for this. This particular cutter is three millimeters wide, so we switch to millimeters and enter three. And now we simply move the Z axis to the new zero position and make another plunge cut. Just like before, let's leave a few thousandths for a cleanup pass and another plunge cut to remove the leftover material in the middle. To clean up the groove, let's move Z back to its zero position and go back to the second subdatum. Long press the Tool Offset button to clear the offset and select point 2. Now make a full depth cut until Z reads zero. And we are done with the groove. We can use this grooving tool to part off the piece. Recall that we indicated the left edge of this cutter so let's add back the 3 mm offset. And now we just need to switch back to the absolute coordinate system, move Z to 0, and cut off the part. It would be nice to cut some chamfers though. Let's switch to the chamfering tool and make this part look pretty. Much better. Now we can move Z back to 0 and pick up where we left off. And the part is done. We went over a lot of stuff in this video. In the description there are links to the user manual pages, which cover these functions in more depth. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.